What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I know, not with the camera, just with the phone today. A really, really short one that I just wanted to get done quickly with you guys. Um, I am going to have a video coming out tomorrow and a pre-recorded one on Friday. Next week, I don't even know what's going to happen. Probably, um, I think I'm planning a fun video for Monday. And um, come Wednesday, I really don't know what's going to happen with the videos. Uh, all I know is that it's kind of crazy right now with all the stuff I need to do that has really nothing to do with YouTube, just a ton of editing. But I want to talk about the Olympics a little bit. As you know, I'm going to have a big video on the Olympics tomorrow. I'm just kind of talking about my concerns with the Olympics right now. Stuff that I don't like that's going on with the Olympics. Because there's a few things I don't like that's going on with the Olympics right now. Ratings are down. And they're down in a big number. They're not down a little bit. They're not down somewhat. They're down big. You know, the opening ceremonies only brought in 16 million viewers. And for some people, they might be saying, 16 million viewers, really, only six, that's not that bad. 16 million viewers, it's very good. And I'm not saying it's bad for television this day, for cable. 16 million viewers is something that it should be proud of. But it's down 52% from, um, not 2016, but 2012. And that's big. You know, it's down 50, down a couple percent from Rio. So there's a lot going on now, and Simone Biles brings in a big amount of viewership. People tune into the Olympics to watch Simone Biles because she is such a big star. She's a big name in the Olympics. She is someone that people look to. She has put all of her Olympic training and stuff on social media. She has brought a following with her through her social media life like what she does in social media what she does all around like she's brought a following to her you know people follow Simone Biles and and that's some reason people go watch the Olympics gymnastics is a big sport in the Olympics and a lot of people including myself only really tune into the Olympics not the Olympics to the gymnastics part of the Olympics because I've heard so much about Simone Biles I'm a sports person. I follow, I heard so much about Simone Biles. I'm going to tune into this. I, I'm going to tune in. I'm going to watch Simone Biles, whatever she does. I, I want to see if she lives up to the hype that I've heard that you know she should live up to. And, you know, I tuned in, and she's amazing. One of the best gymnasts I've ever seen. I agree with people when they say she's the best gymnast. She's the GOAT. But Simone embraces that she is the GOAT. And, you know, I watched the, so the other night, they were going, and Simone Biles fell and got hurt. She seemed to be hurt. So she took away, she met with her trainer, she came back out, all seemed well, but no. Over the broadcast, Simone was done. She said, I can't compete right now. She pulled herself from all Olympic competition. This is not good for the Olympics. And it's really not good at all for United States. They fell to Russia to win gold. And in individual competitions, we know Simone Biles is going to be tough. And she's being monitored right now to see if she can ever compete in future competition. Holy cow. Right now, this is huge for her and her career. You know, for me right now, this is big for her career. This is big for her. You know, these are big moments in somebody's life. And, um, you know, next Olympics being 2024 in France, a lot of people are wondering, you know, Simone will be 28. So will she be able to compete in those Olympics? It's going to take a lot of training. It's going to take a lot more work for her. Is she going to be able to compete in those 2024 Olympics? Now, now the other question we have right now is, is she hurt? Oh, God. Is she actually hurt? Or is she feeling the pressure? We know that she could be feeling the pressure, honestly. That could be something that's going on with her. She could be 100% just feeling the pressure, feeling the weight of the world on her shoulders. She even came out and said that once. I feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. And look, if that's what she thinks, then you know we could have a, it could be a problem. Maybe she couldn't can handle it. And no one said because of injury. They said because of a medical problem. So we don't know if that's injury. We don't know if that's a mental sin. We don't know. But all I know, Simone Biles dropped 
out of Olympic competition. This is very bad for viewership. People are not going to be watching. People are not going to be... This is terrible for viewership. This is bad for the Olympics. This is bad for Team USA. And it's bad for Simone Biles herself. Whatever it is, we wish her the best. And, you know, I don't know. But all I know is she, she's out. She dropped that Olympic competition. So those are my quick thoughts on that. Um, continuing to cover my first ever Olympics on this channel. If you guys are new, you guys all know what to do. Hit that like button, all of that. Um, yeah, um, right now, just hanging out and um, doing a ton of editing, grinding. I want to get that editing done. I have another... I'm editing... I'll tell you what I'm editing. I'm editing softball games uh, that my sisters did this weekend. I'm editing them up. Not for you guys, not for YouTube. Just editing them up, making them for them. And it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. So I've been doing that on top of trying to get these YouTube videos out. And I really have something else that I can't tell you guys right now. I'm going to keep that secret for a while. But I, I have a fun video I might do next week. Um, and, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.